the minute you invest, you trade, you are dependent on an asset that goes up, that goes down, and there's no false promises. Um, thing is believing, you know, we have patent, unique design, unique IP on this. And this is like 20 something plus years of work, right? That we have put into the tools with our partners. And by the way, feel free to connect with us if you want to be a partner. Our partners make lifetime commissions on our users' uh, licenses. So if you have uh, uh, you are an influencer, so you have a lot of friends and family, by any means, if you love the tools, spread the word, okay? Now, you're looking at three of the main components of long-term investing here on the indicator, all right? So right now you're looking at the probability rule of third premium, which has no limit in back period and has also this feature right there, which gives you the return on investment from where you are. So here for Combase, at the time that I took that screenshot at 122, and probably some of you know, and I will show you later on an update of our $250,000 account that we use for retirement purposes. It's not a promise, absolutely, of what you would do. It's stuff that we do with our own accounts and putting our mouth and money where our mouth is, which is very rare, you know, that you have people doing indicators and stuff, and then they, they, they really trade real money and invest real money using their tools. So at this screenshot, you could see using the probability premium 2024 rule of third right there, which is this indicator right there, that from the current price at the 122 level here, you had 77% chance so, so, sorry, 77% return on investment left into the long-term investing move from blue, buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue to the edge on blue and the edge of yellow to the other calculator. That's your buy zone. Sell on yellow and sell on purple, which is roughly the two, uh, uh, 40 to 50 area there on uh, Combase at the time that I took the picture, right? Now this adjust in real time, right? And the Combase has gone up. But the beauty of this is we bought Combase here. Uh, you can see in a lot of the videos on the uh, quarter million dollar retirement portfolio that we did buy Combase around the uh, 65 and 75. And as of uh, um, Tuesday, right, uh, of this week, uh, I still own Combat, right? And I, uh, in, 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 in a little bit of our portfolio size portfolio. So you can see this was the, uh, right there. Forget, didn't get to it. Um, so here is the Combase. So those were the shares at which I bought Combase, right? And by the way, we have a private group called the Day Trading Zones. It's something that we've done for the past 10 years and we trade real money, real accounts there every day. We do also a lot of uh, swing trading and long-term investing here, right? And we did buy the Combase. Uh, you can see here the cost basis of Combase at 75, right? Uh, so you can see all the cost per share, 75, 74, 71, 78, 65. As of today, I still own the Combase uh, 35 shares plus, right? And this has gone from 75 to 200. I think it was about 230. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, let's see on my other screen. 244, 244 with a high of 243 today. And after market, it's continuing going up at 244 right now after market. So this is the type of trade that is fantastic because this is like four times your money. So 
Remember the tools, right? Remember the tools here of what we saw, right? Buy on blue, sell on purple. That's it. So what the tool does for you is visually is, am I in the buy zone? And remember, those are division of third, one third, one third, and one third, which means that statistically, and that's what the indicators are, they are all, this is why we got a pattern, they are real-time probabilities. It's, they give you the confidence to stay in the trade at all time, or to leave the trade, or to reduce the trade, or to be patient in the trade, instead of being in, out, in, out, like most traders. Most traders lose money at this business, guys, because they are in and out all the time. So when you buy here, you have a 66% chance of success, plus you have the 100% chance with the yellow line here. Same here, either you have this edge, or this yellow line, and that brings you to the 66 to 100% chance of a retracement. Now, pay attention. We have the probability power indicator here. And this is the net buyer, net seller from the institution. So institutional net buyers, major retail block, minor retail block. When all of this, when this one plus this one plus this one align, there's an algorithm that brings a total of up or down pressure. Same for the long term, or pressure, or pressure, or pressure. I would not leave. So here, see, in this case, we had Coinbase going all the way to 190 the first time, and then it started down pressure. But you have to understand two things. Number one, what's the market cycle? Are we in an up or down market cycle? Well, we have been in a down market cycle for two years, so now we're on an up market cycle that can be four years. So this is how you start thinking, okay, am I in an up cycle? Am I in the down cycle? Number two, is this stock right now having a lot of growth? Is there a lot of activity in the network? Is there a lot of people using? The answer is yes. So what do you want to do here? You bought at 65, 75, and it pulls back 115. You want to buy again. You wanted to buy here on the edges again, which is the midline of the retracement of the entire calculator. See, from here to here, and here to here, there's 50%. You are at this white line on the probability box calculator. It's a 50% line. At that 50% line on the long, this is a fantastic time to re-enter Coinbase or to add to your position. Because you have the down channel, boom, we exploded. And now look, today we are 240 something. So look, how if I take that off, and I clean up the charts if I can find the pen. And where to clean that up? I'll get it here. So I'll be here for me. All right. Now let's go to the live market. Let's put Coinbase coin. And now let's look at the weekly chart. Back at the same charts that I just showed you. And look, that's it, it's game over. So what did we do, right? We did retrace, right? So number one, huge invested in shoulder. Those red dashes are critical as well if you do long-term investing and swing trading. So I'll, I'll write it down in a Word document for everybody. If you do long-term, investing and swing trading, all you need is what? You need the probability premium rule of third weekly time period. You need the probability power calculator, long-term investing, you don't need the short-term the short term calculator. And then when you pull the probability power indicator, the only thing that you want there is the institutional zones, those red dashes, and that's it. This is your settings. Don't forget also at the top, you have the power trend box. You need both settings. Choose the short term, the long term, put it at the top, middle center. If you don't know to do that, 
Let me show you how to do that. It's fairly easy. Let me remove the, the power train box. I'm not showing you how I like to put it. So, and please let me know if the sound goes down, everybody. If the sound goes down, let me know right away. So I'm, I'm, I'm removing the power train box. I'm going to indicators and I'm going to invite only script. From invite only script, I choose the probability uh, power train box, the first one. I double click and then I triple click. So we only want one. Look, it shows up at the bottom right. It's not very efficient here. So you go to the gear, every indicator on trading view, when you over your mouse have a gear, you over to the gear and you look at the settings. Now you are going to choose what you want to show. Do you want just the short term at the bottom right? No. You want the long term and the short term because you are doing long term investment and swing trading. And we are reviewing that and we'll progress in the discussion into day trading as well. Right. And then you are going to choose the location of the box, which is going to be top center. But it's not going to be enough. And I'll show you one thing to make it even more clean. Go to your right which is your object tree here. So you go to the, this thing is the object tree, see? So this thing on the right that has the paper, click the object tree, click on the train box, and then look here at this double arrow. Click on that and say, move this power train box in the middle and create a new pan above, boom. And I just created a new pan above, so it makes it clean. That's the way I like to keep my power train box clean uh, on the settings that we use. It's very powerful. Okay. So now buy on blue, sell on purple, and now you see Combez has a readjusted the prices all the way possibly to the 400, 300 area. No. Because of course the algorithm is going to move, you know, with open price target every month and every week, especially this is the weekly chart. So it readjusts for the weekly, right? Now it's not going to readjust the blue and the gray band, but it's going to readjust some of the band and, and but usually not the blue band. Although the new blend uh, support now is 164. So it readjusts every week now. And it, it look also at, previous pattern of combes, right? So let's recap a couple of things. Number one, we are looking at the screener. On the left, whether it's a stock or crypto, you have the probability power screener. You double click, it's a three in one screener. You bring it here, you have three options, long-term look back period, swing trade, Swing trading, look back period, day trading, look back period. You can choose your look back period. Do you want all time on the long term? Like on stocks like at and that have 30 years of data, you want that. If it's swing trading, maybe two years. That's what I do. This, those are my settings, by the way, that you can copy for um, the long-term investing. So long-term investing, all time. Swing trading, two years. Day trading, one year. Now, notice on the... Screener, if I put the crypto screener on the sc screen, let's open three. Let's open the sc crypto screener. My setting on the crypto screener are totally different. Totally different screener settings because cryptos are reacting a lot, a lot, a lot faster, guys. Cryptos are, are reacting a lot faster than stocks. So I need to adjust the setting of the three in one uh, screener. I double click. And the old time usually for the screener on crypto should be three years. The swing trading uh, uh, should be one year. And the day trading should be six months. And now you readjust, you, you readjust the sensitivity of the scanner on 
the crypto opportunity. And you can see ICP, Falcon, Storage, uh, Cardano, AVAX. But let's say I just want to day trade. And I don't day trade cryptos, but I'm just showing you an example. I put day trading and it's going to readjust the best opportunity for day trading. And notice it will also decrease the potential return on investment because of course we are looking at the most recent data. And so that helps you to be a little tighter on your data for your cryptos opportunity. So you can see that Shiba, there's Dodge, but those already have exploded. C, STX, right? So usually what I do, especially if it's crypto guys, is I, I, do, I don't day trade crypto. I, I only buy and hold or swing trade them. I, I don't get in, I don't get out, I don't get in, I don't get out, especially with an up cycle. I just don't do that. It's not the way to make money. It's not the way to create wealth. The way to create wealth is to do this, right? As you go here, you buy meta at 75, 74, 71, 6, 78, 65, and you buy and hold until the top of the cycle is done. Same, same year, one of my best trade of the year, meta, on one of the retirement account. We bought meta at 118 to 06, it's 500 something, right? So that's how you create real wealth on your retirement accounts and your long-term investing. Because trading is hard, guys. It requires really hard work and a minimum of two hours per day, you know? Investing is forgiving. You know, you can be right, you can be wrong, but generally speaking, um, it's going to be forgiving, okay? And so buy and hold, is is a is 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 a lot more relaxed. That being said, every day with a small group of guys for the past what now, fourteen years, right? We go and we specialize on Nvidia, SMCI options, and zero DT on SPY, and we do SPX and some futures. But we do that with a very very small amount of money compared to everything else. Right? So let me show you, show you. I always tell you, and a lot of you that are here know that, work by bucket. So let's say you have a crypto bucket. Fine, that's 7%. Let's say you have a long-term investing bucket, fine. That's 90%. And that includes, to me, swing trading, long-term investing, same thing. Although the tax consequences is not, this is short-term capital again, long-term capital. But just to make it easy on everybody. And 3% should be day trade. If you respect something like that, very close to that on the allocations, you are never going to get in trouble. You are going to always, always, be in a position, everyone, to come out uh, not destroyed financially. And by the way, that's what you want. You, you don't want to get destroyed, right? Because this business is not easy, right? Give me a second because my team is telling me that we have not invited the guys on the um, the app thing so give me a second and then we'll continue I promise you you'll get a lot of good gems for the indicators but for some reason they are saying that the other guys did not get their invite so a lot of the people that are new with the tools you know it would be nice that they are able to show up for the next hour as well and take advantage of this. Give me one second. It's going to be a quick send of a Zoom link to those people. And hopefully they'll be able to make it. I don't understand how this this will happen. But Sylvie, 
We're going to take also this time a Word document, unlike last time, guys. And we are going to write some of the settings, if you don't mind. Yeah, I think I'll be very helpful to you guys. OK? Hold on. Last time I felt because we were trading the options, we were a little rush. I was a little rush, and I was trading. I was trading live with you guys. The SPY zero DT, we were making four thousand dollar live, like last time we did this event. But then, we did not take the proper time to give you, in my opinion, some of the settings that that could be helpful from from the and and we are trying to do more events. Travis, who is a funded account trader, will try to come and help with those events as well. You know, or, or people in our community. That have been with us, maybe Charles will help. We'll see uh, who can help. That would be awesome. We have so many great traders and and really great mind on the uh, on the day trading zone sides that have been with us for, for so many years. They are like financial advisors. They are money managers. They are traders. Like really, really good people, uh, and and a really good investors as well. So. Hopefully, they will be able to join and help you guys, uh, uh, showing you how they make money with the the stuff here. Okay, so yeah, that's it. It's done. Thank you, guys. And this is a private event, so we didn't really put it besides our community on Discord and stuff. We didn't put it on YouTube and stuff. I mean, I mentioned we might do that. So this is why I really want you to consider the, the, the allocation of the bucket, OK? Um, that will keep yourself a lot. Now, another thing when you trade is make sure you follow the matrix, everybody in this room knows that. You, you need to like how many, if you, especially if you're a day trader. If you're not a day trader, you don't care doing that. If I do long-term investing or swing trading, I don't count how many swing trading I have done. I don't do, I don't count how many uh, long-term investing I'm doing. I'm, I'm, but it is very important that you have an eye on your matrix. How many trades have you done? What is your average winning trade today? What's your average losing trade today? You know, what is your win uh, loss ratio? Because that predicts your life expectancy. Then also you need to be very cognizant, especially as a trader, but especially if you are in cryptos right now. I am dead afraid for a lot of the crypto guys at one point because with the crypto guys, you know, you have to understand it's not uncommon, even on the bull cycle and we are in a up market cycle, maybe for the next three, four years, it's not abnormal in, in cryptos to have a 30, 50% retracement. So if you get panicked, you panic, let's say you see a long tail down on your investment in cryptos of 50% to 20%. Like last time, there was like a, a quick 20% tail, right? And it flushes all the leverage out there, guys. You need to be careful because then, then what's going to happen, it's going to take you 100%, 100% just to come back. So what do I mean by that? You start with $10,000 in cryptos or anything, stocks, crypto options. You have an event that wipe your account by 50%, you are down at 5,000. Now you're at 5,000. The rate of return from 5,000 back to 10,000, it's a double, it's 100%. So you will have to be very careful to be checked out of positions, guys, especially in cryptos. I mean, obviously, Conbez, Mara, Riot, they are going to do the same. You know, they are going to go down 30%, etc. And you'll have to be very, very careful of your timing. 
for instance, on Mara and Riot, let me show you. And I talked about it many times on YouTube, right? I am very religious, buy on blue, sell on purple, buy on blue, sell on purple, especially before the halving. Those stocks are very dangerous because the miners will be making less money, you know? But I don't look at the weekly uh, uh, game plan here from Mara. I'm looking at shorter time frames. So I'm looking maybe at the one day, buy on blue, sell on purple, see? Boom, here you go. It gives you all the answers. So again, that's part of the sensitivity settings on the indicators that you want to be very, very aware, guys. When you are a lifetime member or, uh, from the day trading zone side, or you are uh, uh, um, uh, users of the indicators, you want to be very sensitive about those settings. If I am going to go, guys, if I am going to go with stocks that are very volatile, I'm not going to stick to a weekly chart for swing trading. I'm going to stick to a weekly chart only for long-term investing stocks, like I've done on Coinbase, on Meta, on stuff that are a little bit jittery like this, you can see the absolute top of Amara was 34. And I called it on the Day Trading Zones YouTube channel. You can go back and look at the, the price prediction and you'll say, holy shit, at 31, he called the 20. You'll say, holy shit, he called it at 20. Like you can like literally go there. I mean, it's a fact. And you'll be like, holy shit. Like he called it last week, the week before. And all you have to do is go at day trading zones. It's our uh, other, that's what we started our old tools. We have been developing tools and research and analysis for the stock market and traders and investors and uh, uh, institutions for the past 14 years now, 15 years. And I have been in this business 30. And so if you go day trading zone, you'll see the Maha. So you'll go here. We do a lot of the press prediction here. Small trading. And, and feel free to, to be engaged with the, because we do a lot of the cut from the Wednesday event. And you can look here. Mara, six days ago. You will see. I called it six days ago here. And then you'll see another one a couple of weeks ago on Mara. So you can look in the past two weeks, how, what did he call on Mara? And you'll see, I called at 34.20. And now we are back at 20 because buy on blue, sell on purple. And look, <laughs> seeing is believing. If I play the replay here of the, using the replay function from TradingView, look here, I arrive towards the purple and I flash 82% chance of a shot on the long-term probability calculator box on the right side. So remember for the people who are not expert at the indicator, you are looking to buy on blue. I cannot say it enough because I, I want you to think it as simple as possible to remember, right? Let's see if we can change this color of the pen somewhere right there. Buy on blue here. Sell on purple. The edge of purple and the edge of the other calculator. The two calculators side by side, they go like if you take your two fingers, you open your two hands and you bring your two hands with open hands, they go together. They are like sisters and brothers. They are peanuts and butter. They are like peanut, they are bread and butter. Like they are like, they go together and one without the other, you don't get the entire picture because look, I will, I could have had that high on my heart, 36 or that high. It happened, it was the other high. So I know towards here, I have 82% chance, look at the stats, of a retracement or a seller. Even though the power trend box was pointing up, pointing up, I'm coming towards, it's like an elastic, I'm coming toward the other side here. And you're all about to snap back now look, so you, 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 you see if I put the replay slowly, it goes up a little bit and that's game over. 
and it's game over. It's, it touched it touch the thing. And now look, now the probability went from 82, 85%, back to 75%. And if I sell, it's game over. You know, it's, it's, this thing is game over, you know? So remember always, the key is the sensitivities, right? So for stocks that move fast and that are volatile, do not use the weekly chart on the probability, uh, the probability rule of third. Go here and go on the intraday charts and use two weeks look back period and that's it. So look what I do for the monthly charts, it's all time. For the weekly charts, I look five years. For the daily charts, I look three months. For the intraday charts, if you put five hours, two hours, I put two weeks, right? So you can, you have control to the sensitivity of what are your look back periods that you want to look here to create the proper edge for you. So I repeat, intraday charts, two weeks, right? Look back period and three months, five months. Now, by the way, just to let you know on the premium calculator, if you look on the left here, it tells you everything that you are. Look, it tells you, I want to, to point out to everybody. It tells you, you are using a look back period of three months. And from where you are to where it could go, you have another 56% return on investment. So it gives you at all time, from the current price to the top of the edges here, what is the return on investment possible? It gives you also the look back period that you are looking at. So the whole time you know what's going on, you know? And this is the type of things that we do uh, with real money all the time. And this is with the two indicator, the two calculators side by side and the institutional zone, the red dash is here that you can do a lot of great swing trading and day trading. No, no, sorry, swing trading and long-term investing. I have not gone to day trading, which is right there. I'll, I'll show you some setup right there that we do on our uh, day trading and stuff every day. But right now I want to, 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 to really pay the attention of swing trading, long-term investing, because that should be 90% of your bucket, right? 90% of your bucket for, retirement for 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 true wealth for less stress less mistake in out in out and blowing up your accounts right this is this is really what you want to master right now i'm going to show you something that is very that can change your your entire thing about trading investing and everything small size big versus bigger size now people look at me and say oh mark you had only 35 shares, you know? But look, I just want to point out, right? It, this thing doesn't jump for some reason today on me. But I want to point out, I started the year, well, I finished the year with $223,943 on the retirement accounts. And this was December 25 of this year. And we were up 27% across account. By the way, the best investor of all time is Warren Buffett. And he clocked 20%. Now, the new update as of Tuesday, as you can see, bottom right, 3-4, was 233.706. So I had another extra $9,000 into the long-term investment into retirement and stuff. Now, as of today, it's even a lot more because for the past two days, the Coinbase position and the Palantir position have exploded exponentially. So I think this 9,000 is almost like 13, 14, which means by doing nothing, nothing, we've made seven, as a family, $7,000 a month in January and February, doing nothing, just buying on blue. And one day when this, I feel the cycle is getting to the top, I will unload the positions. Now, I want to show you on some of those accounts that small size is beautiful. Well, I don't know if you can consider uh, 50 shares size of Amazon a small size because the 
cost basis was $6,000. But I'll show you other ones that were fairly small and that grow like crazy. So for instance, Coinbase, right? Our initial investment in Coinbase was 4,900 and only 55 shares total at the end, right? As of Tuesday, the current price of Coinbase was 238. I think this, I just told you it was about 244 -market, post-market tonight. But it's 55 shares, but look, you make a decent profit, guys. Same on Meta. Meta is even more, uh, uh, is going to really make your brain even, even more crazy. 10 shares of Meta around 118 and two something. And we are, we invested 1600 with a $3,000 profit. This is one of our best profits, just with 10 shares, 10 shares. So now, the question is, Mark, why are you showing us small size are beautiful? Because I want to share with you 30 something years of trading and investing of experience that can save you a lot. Because no matter what, the tools are beautiful. Look, here, I made 57% on my buy and hold on Coinbase. I have three accounts on Coinbase, by the way. And by UK, you can see my position still. Ethereum and Bitcoin only, those one I don't touch. You know, and I have $7,900 in cash now that I'm waiting to re-enter some of my favorite stronger icon. I have two other accounts with my wife. So we have three accounts. So what is it? 37, 37, 47, right? Uh, 57, sorry. Sorry, sorry. So this is uh, 27, 37, 37, and 20, uh, 22 is 59 or whatever it is. My, my, my math are right. So all of this is done. But it's not necessarily done with huge sizes. Look, look how much Bitcoin and Ethereum I have in this account. I have only $8,000 now of Ethereum and $6,000 of Bitcoin. And by the way, I started Bitcoin when Bitcoin was like below $25,000. Buy on blue, sell on purple. I got it same on, on our indicators. So, so again, it is a case of, I'm telling you, nobody Nobody, the very successful indicators that are very good marketers and kids on YouTube that are thousands of users and blah, blah, blah. They don't show you accounts. They don't show you trades. They don't show you shit. Excuse my French. They will not show you because they don't trade it or they don't have the return to show it. So even though this is not a false BS promises that you will achieve anything because this is me, I've done this for a very long time is to show you that we really use them. And so the power of small size is important for this. And, and this can change everything for the rest of your life in trading, investing, and everything. Pay attention to that because this will be the gold of the gold besides the nut and bolts of the indicators. Is that helpful, everybody? I, I really want you to pay attention to the a holistic approach to trading and investing. It's not just about the tools, the tools, the tools. The tools are like a great car. If I give you a Tesla and you don't know to drive it, you are going to crash it. And that's what the probability power indicators are. They are the probability, probably some of the best indicators in the world because they have been based and tested with blood, tears, and successes on real accounts. But if you don't understand some principles of driving, size, mindset, life expectancy, everything that I teach you, everything that I try to help you with, even if I make you the pro of the pro of the indicator, you are going to crash anyway, because you are going to put all your money in a stupid meme con, like uh, whatever, and you might be lucky once, lucky twice, and then the third time you blow everything. So, so let me explain this chart, because this chart is my, hopefully saved and change your investing career, trading career forever. So here's what's going on with this chart. This is three traders, three traders taking the same positions, same underlying, let's say Converse option or Nvidia option, doesn't matter. They all have the same underlying. And in my story to make it even more juicy, we are going to say that those three traders trade with the power indicators. 
So they all have the good, same great tools. They all have the same underlying. They have the same options with the same strike price. They take it at the same time. Trader one, take a small size. Right? Here. Yeah. Trader two takes a bigger size. Trader three takes the biggest size. So look what happened. Position starts, they all lose money. Boom. It all goes down. But look at the angle of attack here. This is, let's say, the zero line. From here to here, this guy has not lost a lot. This guy has lost a little bit more. This one is like starting to suffer. From here at the low point, this one is from here to here. The distance is not too bad. From here, so this one, look at this one. This one has almost three times that distance. And this one has almost one, two, three, four, five, seven times the distance from the first guy. Here's what happened. Emotionally here, most likely this trader is going to start cutting. And so one, he gets out of everything and he lost a lot of money. Two, maybe he sells only 50% of his position. No matter what, you are in an emotional state that is not good. Here, the guy is uh, nervous. The guy here is using the power indicator, is like waiting with the probabilities. He doesn't care. Buy on blue, sell on purple, he knows it's coming. It's going to wait until the position is positive. Now look here what's happening. The first guy that comes back at break even is the one that lost the lowest. As the one that has the least to catch up is the blue one. And the last one to catch up is, the, of course, the one that had the back position. But here's what happened. Now the position is here at break even. Pay attention, guys. This is so gold. I wish someone would have taught me that when I started. It would have changed the entire trajectory of my trading career at the beginning, especially before I started trading with professional firms. So look here. Now, the last guy is at break even. But here's what happened. Even though I don't have a small size, I have all my cash here. I did not commit like this guy. So now the trade starts going my way. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Now I can add on pullback. I add a little bit. It goes up. I add on pullback. It goes up. I add on pullback slow and just let it run. What I wish someone would have told me when I started this business of trading, investing in everybody is add only on a winning position. Never, never add into a losing position. And I know it seems obvious, but I can tell you, if I look at your statements, everybody in this room, well, maybe not everybody, because I see a lot of my guys that are here tonight. But I assure you, assure you, assure you guys that if I look at your day trading statements, that you add into losing position. And if you religiously, religiously do what I tell you, to only add to winning positions and start with small sizes, it's going to change everything. Everything, everything is going to start changing. No matter the indicators, by the way, this is profound. I'm, I'm sharing gold with you. But in addition to that, you have those beautiful indicators right there to help you really crush it, right? So, Let's look at the last indicator that I use for swing trading and day trading. So we start with the scanner. We look at the opportunity from the scanner. We pull this chart. So at the top of the scanner on the left, Mara is one of the better pick for long-term investing. I go to the right. I look at it. I know it's a, a volatile stock. So I don't put a weekly chart. I go on a daily chart with a three months look back period. I look at the edges of the yellow, the edges of the probability rule of curve, purple and blue. And this is where I want to have the best entries. Now, if I think that this is still long-term, you know, this thing is not going to go back at $8. So if you think it's still long-term up, 
which it shows up here. Look on the probability power of trend box on my arm up. That means you need a re-entry. That's going to, your re-entry is going to be on the institutional red zone dashes or the trend line. So I know already that some re-entry is going to happen between 1850 and 20. 1850 and 20, maybe the market participants are going to look at it, or maybe the middle top victors pound their re-entry. So 15, 15, 15, 20 area. I have already in my mind before it happens. So look at the beauty of this. This is so powerful. And this is why I'm able to do all those predictions on YouTube and stuff. It's just take the tool and 30 years of looking at charts. I go, okay, middle part, Victor's pound, they buy on blue, sell on purple, which will coincide also close to the middle of this calculator, which would be a 50% retracement from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to this level. And roughly, I know 15, 20 is where I want to buy. So let's call it 17 and a half. Well, I go here on the clock and look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to set up an alert. That's simple. Plus sign, alert at 17.50 for my heart. Boom, done. Then I go and I wait. And each time it's going to cross the 17.50, I'm going to get an alert on my phone and on my computer, and believe me, I can hear it uh, almost through the three stairs, uh, three flight of stairs that we have here. And I'm going to take my phone or my computer and place the trade, and that's it. And emotionally, on emotionally, I'm going to place the trade. Like maybe I'll start with 20 shares, and then I'll I'll do what I told you. Is it going up? If it's going up and it's winning, I'm adding to my winning position. If it's going down, I'm not adding. So if my intended size is, let's say, I'll show you really kind of the process that I do. If, if it's 100 shares, I'm going to start maybe at that 17.25. It's the 50, the, the, the 15, 25 more. And then I'm going to wait that it cross and recross and start moving back above the 20. Then I'll add the other 50. My cost basis will be somewhere in the 17. And then let's see if it goes at 40. And that's the thought process. Does that make sense, everybody? Give me a quick yes, no. And we'll do a recap of long-term investing and swing trading, and then we'll get into the day trading, guys, because this is already one hour, and I want to help you as much as I can. Okay? So helpful, everyone. Ron, yes. Mark, Greg, Chris, let me know, everyone. Very, very important. And I probably will have to say, send that to the, the, the guys that are also on the lifetime and stuff like that. So let's clean that up. Let's do a recap. I want you to have it in black and white with a word document. Okay. And we will use that also for future events. Power indicators. Power indicators, settings. So let's go in here. Let's recap what we discussed. Long-term investing. Cool. Probability, pull of fair. You want your power calculators side by side, calculators real time, side by side probability. Then you want on the power indicator suite, activate, activate, Activate only the institutional zone, the red dashes, the red dashes. So you remember visually, institutional zones and extension zones in case we have no points of reference. Now, long-term investing, use weekly 
shelves only. That's it. That's it. Then don't forget the last one. Plus, always power train box led by your net seller for trend and gas behind the move. Where's trend box short term plus long term? Use upper upper center panel. Now I'm going to give you a trick here. Be careful shorting a top with the power trend box boxes blue. Start small size, start small and wait confirmation of the power trend box. So let me show you. I'm going to try to do today everything that I can to go through long-term investing, swing trading, and perhaps day trading if we can. Otherwise, we'll do the day trading part next week. Does that make sense? So I don't have to retain you too. So look here. You go back here. Okay. Number one, the probability power indicator. If you go to the gear, there's a lot of stuff here. You have institutional zones. That's what I showed, the red dashes. You have the major probability blue zone, light blue and dark blue. That I use for day trading only. You have the power opens. I always use that when I day trade. And you have the power cloud. Do not use the power cloud with the probability power rule offer. They are going to conflict low. If I put the cloud in top of this, it's going to put everything fuzzy. So you don't want to do that. Look, see? Yes, you can see the blue cloud. You can see some edges of the blue cloud, but you have to choose. Do you do the blue cloud or do you do the probability rule of fur? I prefer the rule of fur. It's a lot better. It's a lot less emotional than the cloud. Are we clear? So therefore, on long-term investing and, and swing trading, I do not use the cloud. Okay, very important concept here. So I remove the cloud, and those are my settings. Then they should show you the probability power targets. Those are above. So what are the probability power targets? Is in case we blow up all the edges, I still have reference points. So let's say, and we'll discuss that, we blow up this edge and we blow up this edge. By the way, 85% to 90% of the time, all your trades, you are going to see and you are going to be amazed on the accuracy of how it stays within those two lines from your buy box and your sell box. You're like, you are, you are, you are really going to be, a, be a, amazed, everybody, that, that it stays here or it stays within here, buy box here, sell box here. But this case is, like crazy cases, like on crypto stuff, where it's going to continue going up and up and up. Usually when it breaks this, you have an 80% to a 90% chance of a continuation going up. It's going to go up a lot more. And then what happened is when it retraces, that edge becomes support. So what became resistance became support. So that's a very important thing that I want to discuss with you. Mark, what happened if the edges are blown up? Well, that's where you go to the upper target that I showed you from the probability power indicator gear. You got the bottom show, you got the bottom show probability power target. And those targets will show. It will show when you blow up all the calculators. And usually the calculator will readjust, but if it happened that day, that day the elastic stretch so much, you have a point reference on the calculator. Like for instance, let me show you the NVIDIA. I think NVIDIA has done that. Today. Look at NVIDIA. Do you see NVIDIA? It's a beautiful case study that I'm showing you. Look at NVIDIA. 
Nvidia has blown up all the sorry, all the edges. You guys see, give me a quick yes, no. This was the reduce your size box cell box. I mean, it, it blew up all the edges. It did exactly what I told you, 80 to 90% of our continuation higher than the 915. 915 was the top at 100%. So now we are on to the power target and look, the power target was beautiful. It was the high of the day 926. Do you see how beautiful everybody? I found you a beautiful case study, by the way. <laughs> so I didn't do it in purpose. I was just remembering what we were looking at the room this morning, the uh, NVIDIA chart. So now you know pretty much the most important tools everywhere, right? We have not gone through the day trading because the day trading part is a lot, a lot more tedious and we will do that next week. I want you guys to absorb everything properly. Does that make sense? Properly. Let's go to swing trading. I'm going to get you the settings and I'll let you go. But next week, I promise we'll try to do the, the same with day trading and make sure you make it because you know, last time the people who came here, unfortunately, I didn't have the recording available for them. And we were day trading real money that day. Like we were day trading for about 4K of zero DT SPY. Some of those SPY were tripling and was really good. Like, like I was live and showing you and managing my Delta. So next, we're going to talk about the swing trading settings, right? So on the probability rule of third, use three months, oh no, sorry, use uh, the weekly, weekly chart, and when you go back here, and we want to look at the uh, look back period, and five years. This is my settings. You can, hey, by the way, do whatever settings you want. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing the settings that works for me. And obviously, because I am the one that gave the requirements for the indicators with 30 years of trading, it's what has been proven working for me. And five years look back. Okay. So now you have everything. The strategy, long term. You have the tools that you need to use and the sensitivity of the tools, right? That's it. On the power calculator, real time side by side, use only the long-term calculator. So let's go, let's go again. You see, I'm showing you everything to make sure you got it. So I go here, go back to the calculator settings. Look, I don't want the short-term calculator because I am doing long-term investing. Look, if I check the short-term, look what happened. Now I have a small one and a big one, and I don't need that. I want the big picture. So if I come back to the Coinbase or to Mara, whatever it was, or any, really any stock, here, Microsoft, I don't even know what's up with the Microsoft. So here, Microsoft. I don't need the small one. And by the way, the small one will show only if it's below daily. So I, I guess you can put small one. The small one is not going to show anyway. But look, if I go from daily below daily, look what happened. And I go to a four hour chart, boom. Now I'm stuck with the two calculator and you have to play with the scale. I really use the two calculator only if I day trade, right? Because my day trading is going to be mainly within the box, because we trade boxes, divide ranges, probability, this is the pattern, right? And from the short-term calculator, but when I look long-term, I don't do that. I use them only for day trading. Right? I don't even use it for swing trading. The only thing I do on swing trading, so let's go to the swing trading, is I do very similar to the long-term. So here we go. Use weekly chart. And if you really have 10 years, 20 years hold, 
use monthly. So I use weekly. Now we are going to take the same structure and we are going to put the same structure for swing trading. And we are going to replace that by swing trading. Swing trading, use weekly chart. Or if very volatile, like Mara, Riot, Coinbase, use the daily look back period, look back period, three months, six months. Because you you want you want to be on top of the buy on blue sell on purple with that, you know. You really, really want to be on top of it, okay? So this is critical with with what I'm I'm I'm, I'm telling you here. Um. So what are we adjusting? Now? Tools, same probability rule of fail, but this time we are going to use. Um. So let's get back to it. Because. It's not like I remember every look back period. So this is Microsoft. Let's look at the daily. There's a three month look back period and the weekly. We are looking at a five years look back period. So three months and five years. So here. Daily, three months look back. And weekly, Five years look back. Right? Uh, by the way, I forgot something on top. On charts like ATT, ATT, -T, AT -T, and Verizon, you have. 35 years of data, then change it to five years first, most recent, then all time, all time frame. Okay? Hopefully that, that that's helpful for everybody. Okay? Because I forgot, you have stocks like this, Look for the long term. Well, look at it, TNT. If I look at the look back period on the weekly chart, it shows me here 1330, right? But look here, if I go back to the look back period here, instead of being five years, I pulled the monthly all time. Look what happened. Different, different view. And you have a view since 19, 1984 on at and And you can see that you are still fairly on close to blue on at and like the 12, the 12, 15 area is very good entry point on at and We did buy at and by the way. I have at and and Verizon. And by the way, it's not me just telling you, it's, it's just a fact, right? Like if you go, here you'll see that I do have some eight layer, AT and T and Verizon. Look, so this is again putting your mouth and money in alignment with what you say to others, and you preach and do what you preach, right? So and and the, and we have high dividend on those. So we have compounded dividends also on those, okay? Very, very important, okay? Now, let me finish this on the screen. So this would be the monthly period all time. So let me add it to your notes. Use weekly charts with 
five years look back on charts and back and on charts like anything versa, you have 35 years of data, change it uh, to monthly all the time. Okay, now we have a, a good a good structure for the long term. Now let's go back to the uh, swing trading. So investing is going to be daily. Swing trading is going to be daily. Uh, look back period for the sensitive stuff and five years look back period. You are going to use the same probability rule of third. Five years look back. Parenthesis three months for high volatility for high volatility instruments. And then I'm going to answer your questions and talk about options a little bit, but I would rather do that next week with the day trading uh, uh, mastery class. A power calculator, long-term trading side-by-side, -side, use only the long-term calculator. Power indicator, activate the red dashes and extension zones. Always uh, use the power trend box, always use the power trend box, upper, level central panel. Be careful shorting a top with the power trend box blue. Start small and wait for confirmation of power trend box reversal colors for confirmations. Because here, uh, 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 NVIDIA is a perfect case study today where you have to be careful. Look at NVIDIA. You come NVIDIA and you, you you even look at a daily NVIDIA today. Look at the NVIDIA today. It's coming up, it's coming up, but look at look look at the power trend box. Nobody is selling. No one is selling here. This is where I'm careful to enter the short as well. I might use this signal to lower my long size. On NVIDIA, let's say I bought here, buy on blue, sell on purple, I might reduce my long position approaching the 1000 and all those extensions here, local this extension group that we have. But I am careful to start shorting NVIDIA at the top here because look here, institutional net buyer, long term net buyer on the institutional side. The major blocks today were on the upside, the minor blocks on the upside, this is still up. So I need to be very, very careful to go against the trend. Does that make sense? Very, very careful. Now, I'm going to answer some of your Q&A. So Sami said, does that work with options? Of course that works with options because Sami, your decision in option charts are predicated on the underlying move. So I trade SPY. Right? And we'll look more at day trading next week. But look here, I have the view that SPY as a 515.5, then as a channel extension 525 and a 532. So I know that so long all the power trend box is up and up and up and up, I have to be very careful to show because the indicators do not give you a signal to show. Yeah. Even in a lower time frame, let's say you look at an hour chart, there is no signal yet. Tomorrow, we are going to see if they are rejecting with the unemployment report of the edges, the top edges. So if you are really, really gambler of small size, you can say, oh, we reached the top and I'm going to gamble the unemployment report, but that's not professional trading. The risk that you take though is if the unemployment report is terrible, next thing you know is we open at 509, 508 tomorrow and we start tanking toward that 488 and we break all the trend, right? So of course you use the charts for your options, but I use option charts guys. Like for instance, you can see, uh, let me show you. The uh, SPY, I was on the SPY charts today. Let me see where it is. And da, 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 da. Uh, 
where is it? Look at the floor. I was looking, I was on the 512th uh, of put that expired today. And then I'll show you a little gambling thing, but that I've done for one contract for 80 bucks. So look, I use the tools. Yeah. I use the tools and I put the option chart on the right side. So look here, even though I was kind of a little bit of sh choppy today, choppy trading, let's put a five minute, it was still straight up on the call. Look, the gap up, the call option went up, down, up, down, but higher, higher, higher lows. Well, you could see that because of here. Because here, you look at the um, 15 minute chart, we went up all day, <laughs> you know? And the power trend box was very strong. And we blew up also the top of the small short box towards the, the edges. So you have to be careful see, and I use structure line too. But look what I'm doing in Trenai. I'm doing an 80 or 90 bucks bet on one contract because we touched the edges. So I say hey, to myself, look, I have the money to play with this. It's like, to me, it's okay, it's, it's 90 bucks. But look, I say tomorrow we're on the edges. I open at the end of the day at three o'clock because it was touching the edges to contract for 94 cents for the 502 put for tomorrow. If it goes, it goes. If it go, it doesn't go, I lost 180 bucks. But if it goes and it, it breaks 508 after the unemployment report, I'm going to make, I don't know, this thing is going to quadruple. I risk 94 cents to make $500 or $1,000. So I, I risk 180 to make 1,000. So it's at least five to one ratio. But very small sizes, see, to counter. Because otherwise I, I, I trade within the trend, with the indicator, okay? And, and that's it. But we'll talk a lot more about day trading next week. I think today I, I really wanted to touch about the most important settings for the uh, long-term investing and swing trading without the short box calculator and, and your longer term, which is your weekly chart. Because this is the power charts. I call them the power charts. And by the way, even when I day trade before I go, just that you know, before I go, I always have underlying with the weekly chart. So I don't know if I can show you or if I, I have them open somewhere. But look, look here. Everywhere I have a little bit of higher time frame here. I had NVIDIA, I had SMCI, you know. Oh, this one is a five, but usually those are usually higher time frames, right? I have a Bitcoin, I have a Ethereum. It's always good to have the longer time frames. You don't want to just look at your five minutes or your one hour or your four hour charts. You always want to have an eye on the daily and the weekly, or at least the weekly. I, my favorite chart is the weekly chart, okay? Guys, I love you. I hope this was helpful. Should we do more of those? Yes or no? Let me know. If you have questions, I'll be glad to answer, guys. Uh, uh, if you have some questions, I'll be glad to answer. Uh, we'll try to focus only on the day trading next week. So we'll spend an entire an hour, 20 minutes next week on day trading. Do not miss it. Become better and better at the tools, okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, <laughs> I did explain it uh, when you're there. So the scanner is kind of easy, guys. You you open a chart. So here, look, new tab, and you open a chart. Look, I'm going to like start it from, from the ground up for everybody on the scanner. You open a tab. I'm going to remove this scanner. So you open a tab. Preferably, you want a tab that is set after that into the one minute because you want the price of the scanner to upgrade to the one minute. Then you go to indicators. Indicators, you go to invite only script, you go to the scanner version one. You double click. 
you not triple click <laughs> like I do, but you do it once. Then the scanner is going to show up. Then when the scanner show up, you will notice the chart is above the chart, the, 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 the shows above the scanner. You go on your object tree, you move the scanner above the ES price or the underline. You do that, that's it. It's not going to show above. Now, of course, you are going to trade with three or four windows. So it's going to look something like that. And then this is how you have your scanners. You double click on the scanner. Let's go back to one scanner. Double click on the scanner. Look if you want, it's a three in one scanner. Look if you want long-term investing or return on investment, swing trading or day trading and your look back period. Scroll down, I do sort order ascending and I sort by return on investment, potential, sort the code. Then you scroll down and you can uncheck, check its symbol and then use the pen and change your symbol. Okay, here it's BTC, I can change this BTC into at and T, up, and now you have at and in the scan. You press okay, and that's it. Now, it's going to take you about five minutes to do your watch list and everything on the scanner. So what you want to do on the scanner after that, uh, and by the way, also uh, you can change the size of the scanner if you don't have enough space and you have 10 windows, you can do small scanner like this and then it becomes small, right? And then, so now you change the font on the scanners and what you can do after you have your things, I, I, I urge you guys to go here. Use the four dots to, to save the scanner as a template. Double click, save indicator template, and then name it so that you can always get back your scanner because otherwise you are going to have to redo your watch list every time. So I can, look, I can do this, I do template, I'm going to save the template. Yeah, new template, save indicator template. I'm going to call it test Sami. I'll delete it later. Just for you, Sami. And boom, I have the uh I've done this. Now you can also set up alarm in the scanners. You you click here on the uh clock plus sign. And you go on conditions. On the conditions, you are going to drop the conditions, guys. And you instead of the ES, you are going to look for the indicator. Uh, hold on. What there was? Oh, no, no, no. It's the, uh, this one doesn't have uh, uh, an alert because this is, this is based on ROI and opportunity. And perhaps we'll do a scanner. The, the one that has, uh, I was looking, I said, where, where is it? The one that has the alert is this one. So now you go back here, here. The one that has the alert is this one. So for instance, because the logic is not like this. The logic is purposefully, you choose your stock here with the best probability and return on investment potential. Now you are going to work here to buy back at the edge. So let's say you want to buy Microsoft back at the edge, retracement at this edge right there. That would be an alert of 316 or this edge at the bottom of 99. So what you would do, what you would do is this. You would click here where the probability premium rule of third is, click alert, plus sign, and now you have the conditions, look. Now you have the conditions, you draw down the probability rule of third. So you can do conditions on the trend box, you can do conditions on the probability power indicator, but we are going to do conditions on the box. And what I'm going to say is I want, because I want to buy Microsoft on pullback, on every lower boundary I want. See, this is the beauty. I can do an alarm on every lower boundary, which means this line, this line, or I can do the top and bottom boundary, which is the bottom of the blue, the top of the red. 
And those are fantastic. And then you set that up and boom, it's done. Okay. Let me answer a few more questions and I'm out of here, everyone. Um, Maria, sorry, did you post the notes or will, will they be in the members area? So for the notes, we will uh, add our logo and we will try to send you the notes uh, by email and, and give you the PDF. If, if you don't mind. But here, what I recommend you do right now, why don't you take a picture? Take a picture of the note. I just cannot give you the document now. Just take a, just take a picture. Take your phone, take a picture for now until you get that. That's it, it's done, okay? Uh, let's go with other questions. Uh, Sami, I answer. Kathleen, you're welcome. Ralph. Tesla is a buy at 174 power one third. Okay, so he's asking Tesla. And I, and I went through the Tesla analysis on the day trading zones. So I, I literally did a, a Ralph go back to my analysis on the day trading zones on Tesla. So the problem here is, yes, it would be logic. It would be a retracement right there at this edge 146. 132 on Tesla, but here's what I have, a couple of things I don't like. Huge head and shoulder on Tesla. We have a 126, 146 target here. We have also a, a, a down channel. We are also lower than the October low, which is very bad. The October low was 191 on Tesla, now it's 178. And most importantly, what, what's against you? The long-term investing calculator, guys, still shows you down. And that's the thing that you have to be careful. You cannot say, okay, we are going to the edge and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to buy them. If the entire market is at the top and we start selling off and the long-term and short-term calculator are still down pressure, you want to enter very slowly. That being said, I would enter 10 shares of Tesla 127, 145. And then if it keeps on breaking down towards a low boundary at 75, then, then I'll buy more, right? Then I'll buy more. But I'm going to respect the statistic to buy a little size at the bottom of the stocks that I want. If that's a stock that you want, if that's not a stock that you want, that's not a stock that you want. Does that make sense, guys? I hope this is helpful. Oswald, good evening. Let's see what you've got. And don't forget the guys that have been in the mastery for years and years. You have the unique opportunity. I think we're closing tonight. You have the last seat left for the, the, the stuff. Check your emails and, and, and that's it. Because after that is year after year after year. Oswald, uh, even in red, can we, we can buy? Or only in blue? No, only in blue. Only in blue. I would not buy. If you chase, chase, chase Coinbase or Tesla and start buying on the purple, you, you, you're buying with 66% chance against you. I don't do that. I don't do that. Especially for long-term investing swing trade. I buy when I have a pullback in the gray zone. So it, let's say it's Coinbase. Coinbase was a perfect rebuy in the middle of the gray gray box. That's it. But on the on the purple, it's it's not good. Okay. Uh, that's it. Sammy, let's see. Let's see where you are. What's your schedule? Let's see our schedule. And let's see what you have in mind and what look. Hey, everybody, I hope this was helpful. Don't be shy asking questions next week because I'll be even more tedious. It's the day trading part of the, the tools. But this was a great review for swing trading and long-term investing because it will give you a lot of good basis, I think, to be successful. Take care, everybody. And I'll see you next week, everybody. You have a great evening. And I hope it was helpful. Take care.